Hey guys, what's up? Shane here. Today I'm going to be showing you something about the song Beast by Nico Vega off the album of the same name. It's been kind of popular lately because it's in the new trailer for the Bioshock Infinite game. Uh, anyway, I'll show you what it sounds like when I play it and then we'll get right into the song. This song is actually quite simple, and the one main riff you hear plays throughout the majority of the song. You'll want to know your A minor pentatonic scale in the first position. If you don't, go ahead and look that up now. What we'll be using primarily is our open fifth string, the A, ringing open as a pedal tone. We'll also be using notes D and C rooted on our third string, and then the A rooted on the 4th string there at the 7th fret. So, we'll let our open A string ring out as a pedal tone. So that's really just this D note over and over, then a pull off to the C and down to the A. Then we'll hit the low A again. Same notes, slightly different pattern. Okay, that right there will be this G, hammer on to an A, up to your C, down to your A. Second one, same notes, slightly different. That's really the majority of it. Now what you often, what you're hearing in the song is bass and guitar. So if you're playing this on guitar by yourself, the hardest part is going to be able, uh, is going to be being able to let that open A string ring the majority of the time because that's going to make it sound fuller, like you're doing more. As opposed to... You see how it's not as full, it doesn't have that deep quality that you're hearing in the song. Now also, to get that very high pitched uh, version, he's doing the exact same thing except we're moving everything up an octave. So instead of being between the 5th and the 7th fret there, we'll be between the 17th and the 19th. Now this is still your A minor pentatonic box pattern number 1, it's just all the way up here and we still want to let this open A ring. Since we've moved it up an octave, the pattern is going to stay exactly the same. The other riff you'll hear in the song is basically him alternating between a G and an A using a D, E, and C in between. So really all, all, all some same notes that we've been using. So it'll be like... Okay, so it's really just A to G and back and forth. What you're doing in between there, rooted on your fifth string between the fifth and seventh frets. Down to C, G. To the A there. You can also play those same notes an octave up, so. just alternating between the A and the G. Well that pretty much covers that. Throughout the song he'll throw little variations into the lick and you should too. Just experiment in your A minor pentatonic pattern. Also if you have a fuzz pedal or a delay pedal that'll help you get a little closer to the sound or you can go all the way out and get an octave pedal that'll play as you play guitar. Play that note and the note an octave lower than that so it sounds like both the bass and the guitar at the same time. So anyway, just experiment with a song, make it your own, enjoy it, and come back here. We'll see you again soon.